In this video, learn how to save your maps, print your maps, and create a direct link to your map that you can share with others. You can access Boston Research Map by going to worldmap.harvard.edu slash Boston. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to create a free account in order to use all the features of the Boston Research Map. You can do this by going to worldmap.harvard.edu, click Sign In, click Register, and follow the instructions. If you already have an account, you can confirm that you're logged in by looking for your username in the top right-hand corner of the Boston Research Map website. First, let's create a map by turning on a data source. For this example, I'll open the American Community Survey data layer and view census tracts which contain an above-average number of 18 to 24-year-olds. Once you're ready, you can print, share, or save your map. To print, use the print link in the toolbar at the top of the Boston Research Map. If you're satisfied with how the map is scaled, you can press OK to pull up your system's print dialog. However, if you want to change the scale or position of the map, press Cancel to make changes. Once you've pressed Cancel, you can pan the map to your preferred location and adjust the zoom, either by using the Scale drop-down menu at the bottom of the map or by using your mouse's scroll wheel. When you're satisfied with the map, print the web page using your browser's menu bar or by pressing Control p where you'll be able to send the map to a physical printer or save it as a PDF file. Let's go back to the Boston Research Map. If, instead of printing, you want to send somebody a link to your map, use the Link button on the toolbar. This will generate a URL which you can send to another person. Once they follow the URL, they'll be taken to the map exactly as you left it. This function also generates a short HTML code snippet, which allows you to embed your map into another website using iframes. There are many tutorials for using iframes available online, which you can find by searching for the word iframe. Finally, to save a copy of your map, which you can come back to at a later time, click the Copy button on the Boston Research Map toolbar. You'll be asked to give your map a title. I'll call this one Bari Training Video Map. You can also enter a custom URL if you'd like to. If you leave this field blank, World Map will automatically assign a URL for you. You can also write your own abstract and introduction to your map. By default, these are filled in with the abstract and introduction that Bari has provided. You can add, remove, or edit this information if you like. For this video, I'll leave it as is. When you're ready, click the Save as a Copy button. After your map is saved, the page will reload and you'll be shown the title and introduction which you entered in the previous screen. You'll also notice that the Copy button has changed to say Save. Now that you have your own copy of this map saved to your own user account, you can simply save your changes without the need to create additional copies. To access your saved maps, log into World Map and click your username at the top right corner of the page. This will take you to your user account page, which includes a list of any maps you've saved. If you click the title of your saved map, you'll be taken to a summary page about your map. To view and edit your map in the Boston Research Map interface, click the map's title at the top of the page. Thanks for watching. Need more help navigating the Boston Research Map? Check out our other tutorial videos, sign up for our next in person data portal training, or get in touch with our data consultant by emailing bariconsultant at gmail.com. Visit our website at www.bostonareareresearchinitiative.net to learn more.